Hello, this is Lorraine Appleyard, and thank you for tuning in to me today. Some things came up that prompted me to want to be able to, to give this little message, and it revolves around our soul's journey and the experience that we have with people. Now, of course, our relationships that we have are very, very important. And I've found, I truly believe that our most significant relationships are karmic in nature. Most of the relationships that we have with people that are um, in our family unit or our significant partners, they are individuals that we have had previous lives with. And this is often why we have such conflict with them and such challenges is because there's karma there that is being resolved and worked through. But we often don't think about the encounters that we have with other individuals, ones that are less prominent in our life. Um, we have people that come in and out of our lives for all different sorts of reasons and whether it be co-workers or neighbors or even just someone that we may encounter in the grocery store. Each encounter has been determined already by our higher self and that energy has already been put out within the quantum field. If we remember that we are in a quantum field and that we are energy and that our energy interacts and vibrates at certain vibrations and that also attracts certain experiences and individuals. So everything that we do experience is spiritual in nature. It's just that we don't always think about it. And as I said before, the most significant relationships that we have are karmic in nature. But if all encounters are spiritual, then all encounters are serving a purpose. What we don't commonly think about is what is that purpose? What is that? Why is this occurring? And sometimes it's because we ourselves are meant to learn a lesson. We ourselves are transmuting uh, an aspect of herself, we're bringing to light an aspect of herself in order for it to become conscious and aware of and then transmuted. We may be bringing to the surface a certain quality or strength that needs to be developed. Sometimes the encounters really are for the other individual then they are learning and we are merely the vehicle for that lesson to be able to to be able to occur from or with again we attract things into our lives by virtue of our vibration by the vibration of our soul and so certain encounters have come around because we've attracted them and still yet certain encounters have come around because our higher selves have orchestrated this to occur and there is a, a higher purpose to it whether it be that we ourselves are being taught a lesson or maybe we are supporting the lesson of an individual that we encounter so all this is being sort of orchestrated behind the scenes by spirit because if we consider that our higher self is always connected to source to our creator to God and is the higher and more divine in the divine aspect of ourself all this is occurring for the benefit of our soul to be able to to grow and to evolve we just don't always consider that. So when you bump up against something that is causing some friction in your life, take a moment to consider what lesson is it that you are meant to be learning? What strength is it that is meant to, to 
come to the surface for you, to be strengthened, to be utilized? What perhaps weakness is it that needs to be refined? Or is it that you are helping the individual, that you are supporting them, that you are meant to bring to light or to the surface certain aspects or qualities for them? We see this in the parent-child relationship that the parents are meant to bring forth these certain qualities or aspects for that soul to be able to develop and to nurture. And, of course, most parents will say that their children are their greatest teachers, so there is an exchange that takes place. The children have agreed to come into our lives as parents to also teach us lessons again there's been this blueprint that has been agreed upon by the souls by their higher selves to be able to be incarnated and to experience this particular life experience now all this can be really very hard to sort of put into perspective sometimes when we are grappling with things in the moment but we can remind ourselves of this when we have an experience. What am I meant to learn from this? How am I meant to, to grow? How may I be facilitating growth in that individual? Why has this come around? And although it may be difficult to remember these things in, a, in each moment, in each present time, if at the end of the day you take a moment to reflect and to contemplate the experiences that you've had throughout the day, then you can start to have a higher perspective of things. And what the goal is to actually to become your higher self in each moment so that yes, in each moment, you're able to pause and have that higher perspective. What am I learning here? What what strength is being grown, what spiritual gift is being worked upon, is being cultivated, because these spiritual strengths are our gifts, and we tend not to think about these things, but we're cultivating our soul, we're cultivating the divinity within us, and we are assisting others in cultivating their divinity, and if we take that one step further we are allowing God to grow because God is having the experience through us. We are the hands and the eyes and the feelings of God. And each little aspect that we experience is indeed a spiritual journey that we are meant to have, that we are meant to grow from. And ultimately, what happens is that we all grow and evolve. So each time you take a step up, so do we all. So contemplate upon these thoughts. Contemplate upon these truths. I thank you very much for listening to me at this time. And please do hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all new content that I'm putting out. And please do share. If you um, like, please do leave a comment down below and I will love to be able to reply back to you. I thank you again very much for listening. I wish you all very many blessings and may you walk with spirit. Bye for now.